Welcome to another edition of Football Game Plans Talking Ball with the Czar. I'm here with head coach at Rowan University, Jay Acorsi. How you doing this morning, Jay? I'm doing well, coach. Appreciate that. Taking time with us today, and I have to get right to it. This is your 13th year of coaching, head coaching here at Rowan. You've been around for a good bit, but 13th year, you're the winningest coaching program history. How do you be so good for so long? Well, it's, you know, it's a great university. Uh, we attract great students, great young men. Uh, the foundation of the program was really built from the previous coaches, Coach Wacker and Coach Kirshner, who started the program back in the 60s. And then uh, John Bunning and Casey Keeler that were coaches before me. And I think it's, the foundation was always laid here to be successful. We've only had football for 50 years, so it's fairly new. Um, but I think the university itself and how it's changed and grown and, and developed over the years, we've been able to recruit just great young men and, and great coaches at the same time as well. If you look at a lot of our coaches, most of them went to school here or played for us. So it's just a, a great environment. Uh, it's a great school. You get great young men. And when you have that, you're going to be very successful. Now, I grew up in the South, in, in New Orleans, and you were always taught that the South football is, is king or what have you. But moving up here to Jersey, and seeing how talented the football is in New Jersey, has that been a big key of why you've been able to have so much success? Yeah, it has. And, and again, we really just recruit in-state. Uh, being an in-state school, we really haven't gone nationally yet, even though we're just starting to do that right now with some of our programs like engineering and the, the medical fields. But for the most part, our players are from New Jersey, and I think New Jersey has tremendous high school football. Uh, when you look at any NFL roster, Division One roster, Division, you always see New Jersey players sprinkled throughout all those rosters. So we really concentrate in state, and uh, we think that we're getting great high school players and and a good representation of New Jersey, and I think are a good as in good representation of Eastern football as well. Now, coach, football is continuing to grow in popularity. It's evident by the amount of new programs that we see start each and every year. There's a couple of starting this year. You've had a lot of success here at Rowan. What's the keys to developing and sustaining a, a excellent program or building a program from the ground up? Yeah, you know, again, I, I think it's not necessarily just the football part. I think it's the other avenues. Uh, we really spend a lot of time with our players academically. We spend a lot of time, time with our players socially. And I think the football kind of takes care of itself. I think when you establish a program and you build the, the blocks or the foundation, obviously being an educational setting, the big part is having the young men graduate from college and, and have them go to their next step in their life in that process. When you have them understand about the educational part and they take the educational part seriously uh, and understand they have to put more energy than they did in high school and in the lower level schools, um, that's a certain foundation that you need to be successful to be able to play. You've got to be eligible. Mm -hmm. So you have to develop that. And then I think the social part too. I think young people in this day and age of technology with phones and, and all these things get lost from a firm handshake, a hello, a goodbye, please and thank you, holding doors. I, you know, I tell our guys chivalry is not dead. You know, you got to do those little things. Those are the little things that are going to help you be successful. Those are the things that I think are the, 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 the basic foundation blocks for a program, any program, and especially a football program. If you're developing young men, then they just can't be good football players. They have to be good students, and they have to be good people too. Now, you, you remember the, the old adage of the Flutie effect, how when Flutie had success in Boston College, next thing you know, applications jump at Boston College. Some people say that football is that important to a university's notoriety? Do you believe that? I firmly believe that. I think it's a you know an integral part of the university. Uh, when you have a, a thriving football program, um, you can have a lot of great events. I know here and most colleges, you know, besides graduation, the next biggest event on college campus is homecoming. Mm -hmm. When you bring your alumni back and you bring everybody back to campus, usually it's around a football game, a sporting event. And I know here that is the case. So our second biggest day on campus besides commencement and graduation is homecoming. Well, everybody's coming to see the football game as well during homecoming. So yeah, I think it's a fabric and I think sports are obviously inter intertwined with the educational process at the university. And I think if the university administration understands to be successful, you have to have a good community. Um, and to have a good community, you have to have students exposed to a lot of different things what better way to have them exposed in an athletic setting. Now coach, in a weird way, success can be mundane. You know, the constant winning and you know having success a lot. How do you keep motivated, how do you keep the players motivated to, to keep going 
to want to achieve more. Yeah, it's extremely difficult. And again, I think success is something self-driven. And I think what we try to do is even in the recruiting process, um, try to reveal to the players how important success is to us. And again, success is measured a variety of different ways. Here, unfortunately, because of the success of our program, if we're not playing for a conference championship, if we're not in the NCAA playoffs and playing for a national championship, we're not successful. So again, you have to understand what success is, where you are, and how it's measured. Here, we just tell our players that really, we're just interested in them being the best that they can be, the best football players they can be, but more importantly, the best people they can be, and the best students they can be. So each individual is different. And in the sport of football, you have so many individuals with 100 players, you can't treat them all the same, you can't do everything all the same, but you have to have structure. So again, we try to do it as individualistic as we can, to just try to uphold them to be the best they can be in everything that they do. I take it, I think, one day at a time. You know, young people have a tendency to jump from A to Z. <laughs> you gotta go through those other steps. Mm -hmm. And we just tell our players, you know, you gotta take it one day at a time, one play at a time, one series at a time, one game at a time, one class at a time, one, uh, you know, semester at a time, you know? Um, and, and I think when you break it down into the simple forms and just try to have them be the best they can be every day in what they're doing, then I think in the long run you'll have a lot of individuals striving for excellence and success and then I think you'll see it in the back end. You can't go in and say, we want to be successful. That's easy to do. Mm -hmm. You have to do it by your actions and you have to do them in little steps and little increments. And again, you know with football, every little bit matters. And so again, we need to tell them in their life too, every little bit matters. So it's it's within, it's something you have to find, but I think everyone wants to be successful. You just have to tell them and break it down into simple terms. You know, in order for us to win a conference championship, we gotta start day one in practice mm -hmm. and then build ourselves to be able to get there. I think again, young people wanna jump from A to Z, you gotta go through the process. And I think we've been able to do that here and try to break it down in simple terms and just try to win the day. Be sure to check out part two of my Talking Ball with the Czar segment with head coach of Rowan University, Jay Acorsi.